Hello everyone and welcome to the next GCSE PE video podcast for Edexcel. Today we're going to be looking at component one and we're going to be looking at part one of two linked to the cardiorespiratory system. And in today's video we're going to be looking specifically at the cardiovascular system. Um, within this we're going to look at how the heart functions to make sure that our body supplied with blood. We're going to look at the structure and the functions of the cardiovascular system. And we're also going to look at the different types of blood cells and blood vessels that are within the cardiovascular system. As with all of the videos, make sure you've got your notes by your side and feel free to pause and rewind the video at any time. So let's start with the functions. Um, your cardiovascular system has got a really important part to play, both in being healthy but also within sport. And these are the three main functions. Transport and oxygen, otherwise known as O2. Carbon dioxide, CO2, and also nutrients, including waste. Um, your heart pumps blood around the body, and this blood carries oxygen to your muscles to help them to work. And it also picks up any unwanted uh, materials such as carbon dioxide so that we can get rid of them out of our system. It also helps to transport certain nutrients around the body and to remove waste products that aren't needed to. Another function it plays is clotting blood. So whenever we get a cut or a graze, um, platelets help to block up those cuts and grazes, stop the blood leaving the body and clot it up. And the final function that you need to know is that it controls our body temperature. It helps to regulate our temperature so that we don't overheat or get too cold and it keeps us at a nice safe temperature. Now the cardiovascular system, whenever we're talking about it, we are talking about these main components. We've got our heart, which helps to pump blood around our body. We've got our blood, which helps to carry the oxygen, the carbon dioxide and the nutrients around our body to where it's needed. And the things that carry it, the road network you like, are what we call our arteries, veins and capillaries. And all of these components work to help make sure that those functions I've just mentioned happen. Now, there are differences between these blood vessels and I've colour coded them for you. Your arteries, they carry blood away from the heart and they're normally red and they are what we call oxygenated blood. So we have blood filled with oxygen in them, arteries away. And then we have veins, which are generally blue and they carry deoxygenated blood back to the heart so we can fill it up again with oxygen. Your capillaries are what join those two blood vessels together and they are in this picture here. And they are one cell thick and that's where the gas is exchanged, you can see through this network here, between things like muscle tissue and also the vessels. So they exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. Now these blood vessels are adapted to do their function, so capillaries are one, one cell thick, so gases can pass through them. Your arteries have really thick walls, and they're very elastic because they have to deal with high pressures of blood as it's pumped out the heart. And your veins, they are carrying deoxygenated blood, they have thin walls because the pressure is reduced, but they also have what we call valves, and you can see one just here, which stops the blood flowing backwards around the body. So make sure you know the function of these different parts, and make sure you know how they're adapted to fulfill their role. Now we have different types of blood in the body, and there are four that you need to know about. There are red blood cells, um, also known as, as erythrocytes, and they transport oxygen to the working muscles, and the haemoglobin in the blood carries its oxygen. You also have plasma, which is sort of the mucus type substance in your blood. You can see in this image here. And it helps to maintain circulation of blood. They almost act like a lubricant. And carbon dioxide dissolves into the plasma, which helps us to get rid of it out of our body. We also have platelets, which I've already mentioned. And they make blood go really sticky, which helps to block up wounds. And the way that they do that is by producing an enzyme called thrombocones, which makes your blood sticky. And a final blood cell that you need to know about are white blood cells, and they are also known as leukocytes. And they destroy viruses and illnesses, or you can call those viruses pathogens, and they help to fight disease, illness, and infection. So all of these blood cells play a role in sports and keeping us healthy. This to transport oxygen so that our muscles can work when we're exercising. Plasma to make sure that it travels there safely and effectively. Platelets, if we get injured when we're playing sport, we can quickly recover. And white blood cells to prevent illnesses, prevent us from playing sport. 
Um, another complicated part you need to know about the cardiovascular system is the heart. Now, I'm going to quickly go through this in a really simple, basic way. I've highlighted four key areas of the heart. The right atrium and left and the right and left ventricles. Atriums are on the top of the heart and ventricles are on the bottom. And then you have all arteries and veins to help blood to flow in and flow out. So this is the, the order that it takes to oxygenate our blood. So deoxygenated blood enters through the superior vena cava, which is here, and goes into the right atrium, which is here. Once it's been in the right atrium, it's pumped through this valve here into the right ventricle. And once it gets through that ventricle, it's then pushed up through this area here, through the pulmonary artery. Once the deoxygenated blood is here, it then goes towards your lungs, where it is oxygenated and filled with oxygen. So these three first three steps here are where the blood is deoxygenated. After it's been to the lungs, it now becomes oxygenated, hence why it's red. Once the blood comes back from the lungs, it enters through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium, down into the left ventricle, and then it's pumped up behind here to what we call our aorta, which is a really thick blood vessel, and then it's pumped to the rest of the body. And the aorta is really thick and strong because it has to pump lots of blood to the whole body. So make sure you know the order that the blood travels and at which point it becomes oxygenated so you know the function. But the main job of the heart is to pump blood around the body. So that's a we've stopped all of the cardiovascular system in this part one video. We've looked today at um, the functions and the roles of the heart and the blood vessels and how they're adapted for their role. We've looked at the different types of blood and their role in keeping us healthy and helping us to exercise. And we've also looked at how blood travels through the heart to supply our body with um, oxygenated blood to keep us moving, to keep us active. Feel free to go back through the video and make, go make some extra notes and make sure you bring your notes to the next lesson. Thank you.